Welcome back to Excel with Mark and today what we're going to be looking at is how we can quickly make a stock management system within Excel. It's going to be nice and simple, no kind of frills about it but here we go then just to get it started. So we're going to start out in the cell here and we're going to put in serial number um, so we can put that and then if we put number one to start out with here hold the control and we can drag that down. You can see the little side there where it has 10 so we know that we have 10 kind of rows down and all we're going to do is just use that there just so we don't have too many but just so we've got enough the next one we're going to add is item because we obviously need to know what items we're selling and then we're going to move across from here we're going to bracket three different things in so these are going to be the items that we've purchased at this point so so we'll put that and then if we link them three together like so and then what we're going to do is quantity uh, rate at what we pay so how much did we buy that stock in for and then the last one is the amount in total of what that's cost us so times in the quantity by the rate for that the next thing that we want to know is how many have we sold of them. So how many have we got rid of, how many have we got left, and obviously what have we got left in stock cost-wise. So we're going to put this under sales for this one. Again for the quantity, and then for the rate, and then for the amount. A capital. There we go. So again what we can do is we can select them free for sales, and we can merge and center. The last part that we want to know then is the closing stock and for this one we just need two so we can merge them like so and again we want to know the quantity and we want to know the amount that we have left for this. The final thing that we have is the profit and loss. Uh, pop it up here. Uh, profit slash. Profit slash loss. There we go. And what I'll do for this one is if we just set them for and merge and center them and just give that a little whoop. There we go. Center for that. So we can see that we have different things here. So we have the item starting out, uh, the serial numbers, the quantity. So all these can be bracketed together. So we'll put these in a, a light green. If we put these cells here into say a maybe orangey color and the closing stock, if we put this into a yellow, at least then it separates it out a little bit. The profit and loss we'll just stick into say a light grey and we'll also use that same light grey over on this side here just so that we've got kind of a little bit of separation for all that we need there. So what we can do at this point then is if we just select all this quickly so we've got all of our graph and press the control and one we can see that this will pop up here for the custom cells for us and what we're going to do is if we click onto the border we can see here and we can change all the different borders that we need so let's have a thick outline like so and then just stick little ones let's change that a little bit so you can see that we made the selection for a little bit of a thinner one there we'll just stick that in but i think what we'll do is just make that even thinner at that point there and then just click on here so we can see that we have the nice kind of dark outline and then all the dark ones up at the top if you want to do again you could just select these and then kind of make these in the middle with the control and one just a little bit thicker um, like so just so that it breaks it all out and makes that easy for you um, so then what we need to do is we need to start breaking this out a little bit so we can press the control let's zoom that mouse button in a little bit and let's add a title just in case anybody to have a look at this and know what it means so we can merge it and let's put um, our spelling today is Togo <laughs> stock management profit and loss and we can wherever we want change um, the kind of thing I always normally kind of stick with aerials um, and if we need to do it just make that a little bit bigger like so and then if we were to say select the box and say make that a little bit of blue so it sticks out a little bit more and we can see what we have so if we say the item that we have to start off with then is the candle 
and we can say that we bought maybe 25 of these and for each candle it cost us £3.50. So we can already see here that we have kind of different things going on in terms of rates and um, profits and losses and things like that. If we click onto the rate and we hold control and select all of these and I can see where I've messed up a little bit here um, what we could do is then once we've selected them all we can select our currency so that we have that where it adds in the pound for us um, I can see here that I've just messed up a little bit in terms of cells so we can just merge them together and then just hold the control as we go down and that should sort it out for us um, just uh, sort out that format and issue a little bit there and there we are we're back to normal on that one so at this point we can see that we've uh, saved on number one is a candle we have 25 and we're buying them in for £3.50 so now what you want to do is go for the equals the d5 and then we want to times that by the £3.50 so we can see that we have £87.50 worth of candles in so with the candles then say we've sold 15 of them and we have a rate of you know we're buying them in at £3.50 say we're selling them for say six pound um, and because we did the formatting earlier we can see that the pound has already pulled through again with this you want the equals so we're going to say the quantity times by the rate will give us 90 pounds in total but now we want to know the closing stock of this so we want to say the quantity is uh, the starting stock minus the sale stock and that should leave us with 10 and then again in terms of the amount what we're going to do now is press the equals and we start out with a quantity of 10 but what we need to do is know how much that we paid for these so we have the rate of £3.50 here which will leave us £35 worth of stock altogether so we need to know now what is the profit and loss of this so if we take the uh, equal sign and we say that we have 35 pounds worth of stock left for this item we want to add the 90 pound that we've sold and then take away the amount that we initially started with to leave us a profit of 37 pound 50 so far for them so what we can do now is we can start to drag this down and then this will start to auto calculate all of these for us and again we can do this on all of the different cells where we have these kind of already ready and waiting to go. Um, and if you need to do it at any point, just click the control and one. And we can see that we can just quickly, nice and easy, bring that back into line there. And now as you move down and you start to do so, so if we say we bought some spoons, um, we bought say 10 of them, we bought them for 0.25, um, we have two pounds fifty worth of uh, worth of spoons and then for the spoons we've sold two of them um, and we sold each spoon for say one pound so we've made two pounds worth of sales on the spoons and the closing stock uh, we didn't drag that down so but we can just drag that down there and then that will finish in the auto calculation for us by working that out quickly and we can see that we've made a profit of one pound fifty on the spoons from what we have there so hopefully this makes sense to you in terms of being able to quickly work stuff out and how to just make this stock management thing really easy um, and it shows you hopefully what you have um, kind of in stock or what you initially started with what you've sold and kind of your closing stock um, what you can do as well with your closing stock if you were to highlight it we could use some conditional formatting potentially um, and you could say that if the cell is less than say if we say the cell is less than eight um, then we can fill the cell with that and what this will do then is as we move stuff through so then we can say that we sold three you can see that this will then change to red showing that you only have seven in stock and then at this point if you have anything that you need to then update or reorder in, in terms of stock then hopefully that will be able to help you a little bit with that and obviously you'll be able to keep in stock a little bit more of the things that you're selling so hopefully this helps thanks a lot for watching and if you have any questions about well, leave them in the comments below um that's it it's just a nice and quick one just to kind of get back on with recording and getting sorted but any questions at all let us know and we'll go from there thanks a lot